and I'm Reed Cowan, live in the Castro, the beginning of so many things. KPIX 5, your community station, so proud to bring you personal stories here from the Castro and all throughout the Bay Area as we kick off Pride Month. It's really a time to find pride in our stories and hope in what those stories really can mean to us, especially given current events. And all this month, we've been at work for the last several weeks gathering your stories, the stories of pride that give us that hope, that love, and that pride here from the Castro. I have to tell you, it's a humbling feeling to stand here at Harvey Milk Plaza to know that right here where I'm standing, Harvey Milk put that soapbox down and gave the first of many, many speeches. You remember, my name is Harvey Milk, and I'm here to recruit you. And then, of course, that very big line, which is this, you've got to give them hope. But right off the top, we want to get to a story that we think will be very meaningful and set the tone for all of our Pride coverage. My exclusive interview with Oscar award-winning filmmaker Dustin Lance Black. Now, right off the top, I have to tell you, he's been my friend for more than a decade. And every time I talk to him, he reiterates Harvey's message. You've got to give him hope. So Dustin Lance Black now, in his own words, not only about what Pride means to him, but also what it means to us as a community. Take a listen. I don't think it's any secret that I love San Francisco. San Francisco seems to have this understanding that we have to learn more about who we are. This understanding that once we know better, we have to act, we have to do better. Getting all of us to know better and do better has been the intersection of activism and creation that has defined the work of the Oscar-winning writer of Milk, Dustin Lance Black. This moment in 2009... That you are beautiful, wonderful creatures of value. ...sent a message to young people, have hope. As a student of Harvey Milk, uh, a, a firm believer that hope detached from action is really just delayed disappointment. That is not what hope is. Hope has to be active. Now, as Black raises a son with his husband, British Olympic gold medalist Tom Daly, he sees what's happening in the U.S. Supreme Court as not only threatening to women, but to his marriage. Speaking about worry that overturning Roe v. Wade and what could be next, Dustin Lance Black says this. We're not next, it's here. Uh, so people waiting for the actual filing to try and take away things like marriage equality or or uh, being able to marry someone of a different race, or all of these things. I mean, it's already here, it's happening. You're not safe here. A wife who alienates her husband risks her life. It's a message he's especially keen to as his new series, Under the Banner of Heaven, examines the impacts of patriarchy on women. And right now, women are under attack in this country by people trying to turn back the page to these fundamentalist, outdated documents. It is, it is the responsibility of the queer community to rise up and support our sisters. And that, he says, is the spirit of pride. Looking to how Harvey Milk's activism wasn't just for LGBTQ people, it was meant for all and all on the fringes, all minorities. And Black says capturing pride means not resting on any success. Because if we let women be told that gender can determine their destiny, we are next. It is here. So please follow the example of Harvey Milk who understood that we have to be there for our brothers and our sisters in other communities that are not being treated justly. We have to lock arms. That is the coalition of the us's that Harvey and his friends and his coworkers were able to create and to win, even at the ballot box in a far more homophobic time. It's those coalitions. My name is Harvey Milk and I'm here to recruit you. As he looks to the story of Milk to inform how the Pride community should respond to current threats, Dustin Lance Black gets tearful, telling me about the two ands in his life, brave women who've been the heartbeat and the whispers to his words. I miss my mom. She was my courage. You know, unexpected from a Mormon woman, conservative Mormon woman, but she was my courage to create change and um, to make this a better world. Black's mom, Ann Bish, died of complications of cancer in 2016. He says she's in everything he does. And when he needs Boyd, he calls another Ann, Harvey Milk's campaign manager, Ann Cronenberg, who tells him... Oh, who cares what they think? 
Oh, who cares? Go get them. Go get it done. Go get it done. The voice of a woman to the artist whose work he hopes will create lasting change. And until then, Black has a call to action for the next generation of gay leaders. It is a battle, and we're in it, and it's gonna get worse again. I do feel like I'm enlisting soldiers. And I know that the fight ahead for these young people and old uh, is not going to be easy. I do believe it will be rewarding. All right, so in that spirit, KPIX 5, your community station, kicks off our Pride coverage as we look at the beautiful Castro Theater, said to be one of the heartbeats of this district. And you see the marquee there, Milk with Sean Penn, Dustin Lance Black watching this streaming from where he lives now in the UK with his husband, gold medal Olympian, Tom Daly. And now the message, Lance, they're not forgetting you anytime soon in the Castro or the movie that meant so much. Now, we can't leave this part of our newscast without a little bit of a newsmaking get. I've often looked at the creative and the activism angle and the intersection of Dustin Lance Black and asked him, will you run for office? He's usually pretty cagey with me in his answers. Listen to what he had to say when I asked him once again. I've been tempted many a time to, to, to throw my hat into the political sphere, um, to run for office, to see if I could be useful there. Um, but each time there's been an opportunity uh, I found myself writing stories uh, that I believe can move the needle, perhaps even further. That's how I feel right now, and, uh, you know, if I feel differently in the future, I will run. All right, so that wasn't a no, right? I mean, he could have said no, so maybe you will see Dustin Lance Black on a soapbox of his own and the Castro running for office one day. I'll keep asking the question. All right, so... A big month ahead, all focused on the stories. And when you stand here in the Castro, it's really important as you watch these stories to remember the men and women who died, the people who didn't get to today, who once populated these streets shoulder to shoulder, not only celebrating their lives, the hope, the love, the pride, but also marching and pushing for change. And there are celebrations all across the Bay Area that we want to tell you about. And, you know, it really began early this morning here in the Bay Area with the uh, Pink Torch procession. Let's go to the video. You know what this is. The event kicked off near Oakland City Hall. More than 30 torchbearers wearing pink capes made their way from Oakland and Lake Merritt on their way to arrive in San Francisco. In fact, Mayor Libby Schaaf joined the pre-procession festivities with a group. And torchbearers, we understand, are expected to pass by the ferry building down on the Embarcadero at any minute. We're watching that as well. The torch will be escorted by a biker group from Oakland to San Francisco. They'll then make their way towards Castro or the Market Street and the Castro where they'll pass by City Hall. And then the torch will be escorted again to Twin Peaks for the lighting of that pink triangle. In fact, Mayor London Breed and House Speaker Nancy Pelosi will be there for that. That ceremony begins at 9 p.m. You know, when you talk about pride and the hope and stand here in this place that really represents the history of the LGBTQ movement, you really have to think about these pride flags. You're going to see all over the Bay Area these beautiful pride flags in multiples, but once upon a time, pride flags, well, there was just one. And we're going to show you one of the remnants of one in a very important piece by my friend, Ryan Yamamoto, such an important story. And also we want to remind you, as we go through Pride Month, we have a landing space for you techies out there, a very spection, uh, special section of our website where you can find all of our pride stories this month. You can find it by scrolling down to our homepage on kpix.com. A big night, a big day, and we hope all of you out there feel that spirit of hope, love, and pride. Andrea? Thanks, Reed, so much for start kicking off our pride coverage.